Sweetheart. This is Jeffrey, my nephew. My sister's eldest son I've been telling you about. And he'll be staying with us for a while. Mm. Jeffrey? Yes, Uncle. This is my lovely queen, Rita. Nice to meet you, Auntie. Nice to meet you too. Jeffrey, you feel at home? And you show Jeffrey to his room later on. I'll be in my studies because I got a lot of books to take care of. Okay. You look so handsome, Jeff. I hope the girls around here will be safe with you. I don't know. Are you shy? Oh, never mind. I will show you to your room and then I'll prepare dinner later. Okay, thank you. All right. Thank you. to massage. What? Massage? Yeah. Massage the body. Oh. <coughs> well. <coughs> um, it depends. It depends on what. Well... <clears throat> what, what about my uncle? Oh, he's on night shift and will not be back till tomorrow morning. Um... I don't, I don't think it's right to... to... You've said enough. I'm um, sorry to have bothered you, okay? Um, let's just go back to bed and have a wonderful night. You should have knocked the door before coming to the bathroom. Really? Don't forget this is my house. And I can enter anywhere whenever I choose to. Unrestricted. Thanks, please. I want to take my bath. Just go ahead and take a shower. I'm not disturbing you, okay? Go ahead. Come on. Back here, Jeffrey. Are you alright? Um, <clears throat> yeah, I'm, I'm fine. I'm fine, except um, I just wanted to tell you about Auntie Rita that 
Honey, you're running late. Why waste more time? Um, Jeffrey, don't tell me that your aunt Rita is making you unhappy here. No, I'm, I'm, I'm fine. I'm fine. It's just, it's just that. Uh, Sweetheart, whatever you have to discuss with him can wait. Okay. There's no time. All right. Um, young man, you have a wonderful day. When I come back from work, we're gonna sit down over dinner and discuss about whatever that is bothering you. All right, honey. You make the caviar and chill the ice wine. When I come back, it's gotta be ooh la la. <laughs> I love you. Okay. Have a nice day, Mom. Take care. You're sure you're okay, right? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. You're fine. It's good. the money for? It's for you. Okay. Uh, I see. So my uncle gave you the money to give it to me. Your uncle? Well, that means you don't know your uncle that well. Your uncle is a very stingy man. He doesn't part with money easily. Uh, my uncle has been very good to me. So I wouldn't be surprised if he asked you to give me this money. I wouldn't be surprised at all. <laughs> yeah, I understand. He's very nice. But I can be better, you know. Tell me, what do you want from me? Jeff, I find you so irresistible. Auntie Rita, Auntie Rita, please, please. For God's sake, whatever you're asking of me is unthinkable. Okay, you're my uncle's wife. I can't do it. It's unthinkable. Jeff, I'll give you more than that. And I'm going to take very good care of you. My uncle has been very good to me. Very good to me. And there is no way I can do what you're asking me to do. It's impossible. I'd rather be found dead. I will not do it. Jeff. It's not that I am a loose woman. It's just that your uncle does not have time for me. I am a woman. And my body needs to be touched. Or would you rather want me to go outside when I have someone like you in the house? I don't care. It's not my concern. You want to go out and do your thing, go out and do it. But I know for me, I'm not going to do anything about it. And and, and sorry, but if, if you continue this way, if my uncle comes, I'm going to tell him what you're doing. Please, I can't, I can't cope with this. What kind of life is this? I'm not sure you'd want to do a thing like that. Don't forget I am his wife. And whatever I say, he will believe me. Yes.
So, um, tell me, I can see there's something eating you up. You won't, you, you mind telling me about it? I mean, I... I'm surprised, I mean... I can't believe I'm here with you. I mean, not that I know you. Um, I just can't understand what I'm still doing here. I don't know. <clears throat> it was my suggestion that we come here, sit down, just so that you can calm down. Because I didn't like the way you were looking back there, but I guess it was a mistake. My bad. So if I can just have your key, I'll get my things from your car. And then I will leave. Uh, but there's a little problem. Which is? Food. The, the food we just ate, I don't have money to pay. Can you please pay? <laughs> I'm so sorry, I mean, you've succeeded in making me laugh at least. That's a plus for you. So now you find me funny too. <laughs> oh no, no, no. Sorry, please. Don't get me wrong. I'm really sorry. I mean, you ushered me in here, tried as much as possible to impress me, and yet you don't even have any money to upset the bills. Because it was my primary concern that, you know, you get better, because you really didn't look good back there. You're honest. Very honest. I mean, unlike most of them out there. I mean, my ex. I see. You're beginning to open up. That's, that's, that's what I wanted. Uh, I knew how to do with a man. Well, uh, please. Can you sit for a while? Just a while, please. <sighs> you know, I I did want to talk about Tony. I felt like talking about Tony to someone. I couldn't tell my friends. Not because I don't want to. But because they bond me. But I'll tell you after all. I mean, I don't know you from Adam. Besides, there's a probability that we might never, ever meet again. So, could make do with telling you. Lizzie, you are so wonderful. <laughs> Thank you very much. And I promise you, I'm going to love you to the end. Tony, I don't believe you. I don't. Why? I promise you, I'm going to love you. And I do. You do? Yes, I do. Then, if you love me that much, you must decide here and now to ditch Efrida. You just have to ditch her for good, okay? You teach every day, I tell you, that I will open my heart to you. Everything about me will be all yours. I will give you my spirit, soul, and body. I love you so much, Tony. Please, just teach her, okay? All I need is your best. No, Lizzie. Just consider the fit Serious? Yeah. Oh! Know what you think. Please. Please, I'm so sorry. Please.
fill them out of the house. And where is he now? Married to her. No. You're kidding me, right? This is so not right, man. This is, this is so unfair. This is such a sad situation. Please don't cry. I know it's a sad situation. Okay? Yeah, I'm going to forget the t-shirt. The whole thing happened four months ago. I waited. I waited and waited for two. All I wanted was just for him to come and say, I'm sorry. Just say he's sorry to me. He claimed he loved me so much. But instead, he went and got married to the very woman I got to live. No. This this is not fair. It's, it's a very sad situation, honestly. When did he get married? Yesterday. I'll be there. What? No, don't tell me you're still in love with this guy. I'm so confused. I don't know. What was I supposed to do? What? Go to him, go on my nails and say, honey, I'm sorry. I came from work so early and I got home and bumped into you and my best friend. How was it my fault? I hate you. It's okay, don't cry. I, I understand what you're going through. But the way you're going about it, you end up hurting yourself more. You would. Thank you. I think I'll just go home and relax. Honestly, I feel like taking my life. Don't talk to me. Better still, killing them. No, don't, don't say that. That's a stupid talk. It's a stupid talk. You have many more years ahead of you. The best is yet to come. your mind when you walked on that road? <clears throat> well, I mean, we all have our problems. And uh, I have a new principle that I just need to move on in life because I realize if we resort to vengeance, we'll just end up hurting ourselves more than the people we want to hurt. So it's simple. Forget it and move forward. Um, which way are you going? Maybe I could drop you off. I don't know where I'm going. What do you mean you don't know where you're going? Just that. I am not sure where I'm going. I will get my things from your car, hit the road, and wherever night meets me, I'll sleep. Do you want to tell me about that? It's really outrageous that your uncle could believe such a stuff. He believed every single word she said. It, it wasn't funny. And then he swore not to have anything to do with me anymore. And he just threw me out. Just like that. Hell and damnation. That woman is possessed. And even the annoying thing is my uncle is yet to find out. I, I pity him, really, I do. You, what are you going to do now? I don't know. I'm just going to find somewhere, rest my head, and then think about my future. I don't, I don't know. You know, I could lend you some money to stay in a cheap hotel until you get a job or something. Thank you. I really appreciate it. But no thanks. I mean, I'm not in for charity. <laughs> don't tell me you're a proud man. I'm not a proud man. It's just I don't know you well enough to start taking money from you. <laughs> you're right. But still, I wasn't going to let you stay in a hotel when I have a house. No, I'm, I'm not going to your house. Don't be stupid. There is nothing you're going to do with that money. Oops, I'm so dumb to even offer you a house when I don't even know you. I... Listen again. Our meeting was not by chance. I believe so much in destiny. Alfreda, 
I know you're a nice person. I can see you're a nice person and everything, and I appreciate it. But what my uncle's wife did to me, it's something that I can't forget. It has really had a negative effect on my perception for women. And I don't know how I'm going to cope. And welcome to the club, darling. Because I have my own reservations too towards men. Welcome to the club. <laughs> but I like, I like big rooms. Come here. You're welcome to my house. Thank you. Nice place. Um, but I, you know, I still insist. Uh -uh. Um, we are through with the male ego. Listen, let me just show you off to your room. Unless, of course, you want to tell me you're a thief. Well, I wish I was. And if I was a thief, there is only one thing that I would steal. Which would be? Your heart. <laughs> That's really unfortunate because I don't have a heart. And you're this kind? Jeff, I'm only trying to be human. Period. Well, don't mind me. My sweet talks is just something I use to say thank you and get my way around. You just see me. Come on, see me. <laughs> I thought you had gone to bed. I'm just relaxing. <sighs> Tell me, what are your qualifications? Well, I'm a graduate. I'm still looking for a job. You know how it's like with new graduates. It's not easy to find a job. I know. And you, what do you do for a living? I'm actually into furnishing. I'm in a partnership with an old friend of mine. We run a furniture company. Interesting. You know, I could talk to some of my friends to get your job, if you wouldn't mind. Yeah, I would appreciate that. Okay. Well, I hope you don't mind if I go to bed now. Oh, no, sure, I mean, no problem. Strange character. Really strange. Knocking. Good morning. Can I come in? Yeah, come in. The door is open. Wakey, wakey. Good morning, sunshine. Good morning. How are you? Well, I know you've been through a lot. I saw you were tired yesterday. Really tired. And I know it's the weekend today, so I thought I'd make you breakfast because I know you need some rest. I don't remember any doctor placing me on bed rest. Well, um, I know you've been through a lot lately, so I just assume you need to rest a little bit. This is so romantic. Romantic? I don't know anything about romance, so I mean, I've never been in love before. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, uh, love. That's one word I hate to remember. I'll be on my way, okay? Enjoy. Meaning? Sorry? Meaning? Meaning? Afrida, you're a nice person. 
okay? And I appreciate you taking me off the streets and having me spend the night here. I appreciate it very much. But I don't want to be a burden on you, okay? So, I'll be off. No, no. You're not a burden to me. As a matter of fact, I'm beginning to enjoy your company. Something has snapped in me. And I don't want to disappoint you. There's no way you can help me as worse as Tony did. Unless, of course, you intend to rape me. So let's not even talk about that. We, we finished that topic yesterday. Like I told you, my principle is to move forward. Alright? Okay, you know what? Fine. I'm not gonna hurt you in any way. Just enjoy your meal and I'll be outside. Thank you. Okay? Uh, it, does it taste good? I mean, Let me try that. Too much onion, too much salt. Mm. It tastes good. Very good, very cool. I'll be outside. Mm. Later. before and I'm not going to play the fool again. The game has just begun. First, let's just find out how rich she is. Certainly not, because if we have, there is no way possible I could have forgotten such a beautiful face as yours. That's impossible, trust me. Thanks for the compliment. You're welcome. Oh! What? My memory. Are you not the girl on the front cover of Vogue magazine, last month's edition? Now tell me you're not the girl. I'll be damned! That is not the girl! You've got a good sense of humor, trust me. No, but I'm serious! I'm serious! Good. Really? <laughs> My name is Jessica. Call me the girl. You know, if I am that girl on the front cover of Vogue magazine, uh -huh. then your day is made. <laughs> that is the nicest thing I've heard all day. Yes, the nicest ever. <laughs> you know, um, you look fine. You look fine. Thank you, you too. Smashing young man. He's a thief. Who? What? Sorry? The guy. It must be a thief. The one that put that ring on your finger? Right? Make me remove it. Oh, ho, 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 ho. I wish I could, but that will be a serious task. I will need to rob a bank with a gang to be able to do that. I wish I could, really. <sighs> you know what? What? Let me give you a little treat. Let's go in there. In the shop for me. Whoa. Come on, look. That was unexpected. I don't like the way you're staring at me. How am I staring at you? Like you want to strip me naked with your eyes. Oh, um, I wish I could. 
wish I could do that. Except you're driving. <laughs> I like you. Why? Well, because you're very blunt. Okay. And it shows confidence. Okay. It's only real men that go for what they want. what you want. <laughs> I am an adventurer. What does that tell you? <laughs> um, <clears throat> uh, it tells me to be careful that you could be a modern day carnival, a man eater. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I hate you for that. <laughs> You're welcome. So, David, tell me, who is the special girl in your life? Um, <clears throat> well, um, I'd rather not talk about her. Why? Um, because I caught him but naked riding a horse. A horse? Yeah, the, the horse happens to be my best friend. I came home that day and she was banging him. I just packed my things and I checked into a hotel. It's a memory I don't want to remember. Sorry about that. It's alright, it's okay. Well, well, well. Am I glad? I'm confused. I'm glad about what? You know, if you had not caught your girlfriend by the house, perhaps I wouldn't have been opportuned to meet you. Well, true. Um, but uh, in order for us to move forward, we will need to learn to forget about things. Yeah, true. Um, yeah, so I'll see you around. Okay, I'll see you around. Okay. So am I free to call you at any time? Yeah, sure. Anytime, any day, whenever, wherever, and you know. But you can call me every other minute. I don't mind. Deal. Um, I have been heartbroken for too long, and I think I need a little excitement. Oh, yep. so do I. <laughs> I'll see you around. Okay, be good. Oh my god, oops. Jeez. I am so excited, I feel I'm dripping. Oh gosh. Welcome, sir. Yeah. I'll be there. Beautiful. Beautiful. I'm about to have me some fun up in this town. Damn. Later. I got this. Thank you very much. Hope you like it. Wow. Amber. <laughs> I love it. Thank you. Smells good? It smells wonderful. <laughs> I'm glad you like it. Thank you. But seriously, for those other things, you honestly shouldn't have brought I mean, I've just... The last time I checked your storeroom, it was empty. Okay. Virtually empty. <laughs> you win. I've just been a bit busy, that's all. Well, I'll get those stuffs inside and get you something to eat. Right on. Thank you. Thank you. What do you think? 
I bought those things with the money that you gave to me. Please. Life is just about to begin. And I'm liking it. Enjoy. <laughs> That if you get to know that uh, I will be attending another political party meeting this evening, that you will feel very angry. Is this your best way to inform me that you're off to sleep with your concubine? Oh, come on, honey. That is not just that. Don't feel that way. All right? You know, all this is for our own good. Okay? As uh, an aspirant, Senator aspirant for that matter, anything that my party wants me to do, I will do. I mean, if they seek my permission to attend any meeting, I must be there for them. To the detriment of our happiness? For God's sake, Maduka, you sleep out of this house four times in a week. You hardly spend time with me or eat my food. It's always one political party or the other. For God's sake, I am your wife! Oh yes, my love. You are my wife. And that is not in dispute. Like I said earlier, all this is for our own good. Now let me ask you this simple question. Wouldn't you like to become the wife of a senator of this federal republic? Or better still, let me reframe it. Wouldn't you want to be a wife to one of those movers and shakers of this great country? Think about that. I am working hard to become one. I am an adventurer. Good. I like beautiful things. I like going to places, but most importantly, I desire to be with my husband. Don't you get it? Very correct. Very correct. But you see, I pray you give me this last chance. You never can tell. Is it already you've enjoyed my hard work? I mean, you have good room. Good cars, good jewelries. Mention it. Please. If I have this opportunity, maybe a lot of better things will roll in. Okay? Now give me that your charming smile that always ushers in luck. Come on. Give it to me. That's my baby. That's my baby. Mm. God bless you. Hmm? Let me attend this one. Maybe, perhaps, no other one. Right? Can I go now? Come on. Okay. I hope that this driver is. Uh, uh, take care of yourself. All right, then. Uh, I love you. Love you too. Guess what? Guess what? What? He's gone. Really? Why are you sounding like this lately? I have a couple of things running through my mind. <laughs> Will my love share her problems with me? I'm not just in the mood, please. What, 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 what is the matter? Is it that you don't want me any longer? Philip, has it ever crossed your mind that what we've been doing for the past two years is wrong? 
It is called adultery. Babe, why, why are you sounding like this? Perhaps I'm beginning to feel guilty over what I've been doing to my husband. Adultery. I know what the problem is. The problem is you're just jealous that I'm planning to get married. But I'm still there for you. Philip, I want you to leave. You can't just say that. See, if you wanted to call off the wedding, I would definitely do that for you. Call off your wedding? Yes. <laughs> Philip, I am happy that you're getting married. A piece of advice to you. I want you to stick to your wife and stop sleeping with another man's wife. Especially your bosses. Just go. Leave now. If I can't have you completely, then I might as well go for another. Coming here crying like a baby. Hello, stranger. Hi, handsome. Am I disturbing anything? Like what? You know, you know how it is. A young, handsome man like you should have someone there with you. Yeah, right. You have no idea what I've been going through. I mean, since I last saw my ex with that guy, it's the idea thought still haunts me. Hey, listen to me. Just... Just move on with your life, okay? She doesn't deserve you. I know, but I get lonely. What do I do? Yeah, yeah, I know. I just wish I could come over there, you know? Chat with you, make you feel happy. Yeah, I wish so. I wish you could do that. But you have your husband to take care of. Oh, please. Which husband? A husband that hardly stays at home? Please, I have my own life to leave, okay? Uh, all I need to do is just do anything that will make me happy. Okay. So tell me, what makes you happy? Just say it now and I'll just do it for you. Promise? I promise I'll do it. Okay, all I want to do is to be around you. Hello? Hello? I can hear you. Are you with someone? No, there's nobody with me. But I heard a knock. I know. That's the room service, room service. Okay. But you didn't answer my question. That's because I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about it. Listen, um, Sweetie, I, I need to call you back, okay? Let me just answer the door, I'll call you back, all right? Okay, okay, no problem, lovey. Talk to you later, okay? Come in. Were you on the phone? No, I wasn't on the phone. I was just rehearsing, you see. I want to be an actor. What do you think? Rehearsing? Yeah. Martial arts. Yeah. Ooh. Well, dinner is ready. Alright. I'll be right out.
<laughs> he is plain hard to get. But I'll get him. I always do. Philip will become history. But come on, I've tried for him. Obviously, you couldn't remember fainting in front of a supermarket a couple of hours ago. I, I just can't remember anything. <laughs> I know. Well, you came out from the supermarket and you, you, you were looking kind of worried and, and troubled. And you were even on the verge of breaking down, like crying. And the next thing I saw within a twinkle of an eye, you, you just slumped and passed out. And I was so scared and, and afraid and I just rushed you here. Tell me, young man, what is the problem? I mean, what, what, what's, what's, what's on your mind? What's going on? Who are you? A doctor? Uh, no. A concerned citizen. And you, you brought me here? Yes. Thank you very much. <laughs> You're welcome. It's okay. But you still haven't answered my question. I, I went for a job in Tabi. In fact, for the past three years after I finished school, I've been going from one job in Tabi to the other. And this other one now came up. I was so optimistic I was going to get the job. Not only for them to tell me that they're not employing people any longer. And I fasted and prayed for this particular one. I just got tired. I, I just went blank. I, 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 I was just tired of living on earth. Hey, it's okay. Calm down. Okay? Calm down. Um, you know, there is one thing about this life. Life itself is mean and wicked. For a young man like you to be able to make it in life, you should be determined and focused. Okay? Um, if I may ask you, what is your discipline in school? I studied marketing. Oh, marketing. Okay. Well, I, um, I would do my best to help you out. Not promising anything, but I will help. But you, you've done enough. <laughs> Come off it. It's okay. Th thank you very much. Good day, madam. Hello. Madam. I just came to thank you. Your, your husband has just employed me. Madam, God will bless you. God will really bless you. Thank you very much, madam. Philip. Madam. There is no need to thank me. Stand up. Thank you, I am glad that you are happy. Madam, I'm not just happy. I'm very, very excited, madam. Very, very. Sit 
it. Come on. What is wrong with you, sir? That don't bite. You're a very handsome man. Do you know that? Thank you, madam. But madam, you know now, I know I'm a handsome man. But madam, you being handsome without money, you're like a dead man walking. <sighs> you are wrong there. Very wrong. If you know how to use what you've got, then you can have anything you want. Anything. Mm. Philip. Madam. You know I asked my husband to fire his personal assistant just to hire you. Thank you, madam. It's Thank okay. You. Are you ready to do whatever I ask of you? No, oh, madam. Anything you ask of, just ask. I'm at your service. I'll do it. I'll do it, madam. Anything? Anything, madam. Anything. <sighs> okay. Let's start by you dropping the madam thing. Call me Jessica. Okay. Okay, okay, okay madam Jessica. I want you to come on top of me. Madam, I, I, I can't, madam. What did you just say? N no, nothing, madam, nothing. I'm waiting. <laughs> hmm. Philip wants to get married. <laughs> Let's see how it goes. Life has been good. Very, very good. I'm living in my own house. Not, not a rented apartment. Two sweet cars to go with. And also, I have invested wisely. But, I didn't make it just by my salary. I made it because Jessica is in love with me. Now, now she's suddenly behaving funny. Because I want to settle down with the one I love. She's in for a surprise. She can't get rid of me. She still remains my meal ticket. Baby. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm okay, baby. What is it? What's the problem? <sighs> baby, I'm to be your wife. And you have no reason to hide anything from me. So what is it? Babe, I'm not hiding anything from you. I'm not at all. Has it got to do with your job? My job? No, no, no. My job is perfect. You see, 
The fact that is, um, once in a man's life, you have to start thinking on how to protect your meal ticket. And that's exactly what I'm doing. Okay, you know what? Don't worry, alright? The Lord is your strength. Okay? I know. So, how are you doing? I'm okay. So, what are you preparing? Is it? It's 7 a.m. Oh boy. Sorry about your nightmare, but I'm off to work. I'm not used to such luxury, you know. You're spoiling me. I'm glad that you're happy and relaxed. You overfed me. I'm, I'm sure that's why I had that nightmare. <laughs> but you're a terrific cook. Thank you. Maybe I'm beginning to get used to the fact that there's a man in the house. That's nice. Wait a minute. I thought you said you hated men. Jeff, I, um... I see you as a brother. Oh, I see. You smell good. You smell good. Sis. Thank you. I I wanted to know what you're going to be doing today. Nothing much. Nothing much, nothing specifically. I was just going to town. And you know, move around and see what's up. Nothing really. Well, I'm going to try using my contacts to get you a job. Thanks, I appreciate that. Um, I, I... I, um... I mean... You should, um... Use this and stay out of trouble. It's for me? Yes. All of this? All of it. Thank you. I should leave now. Can I give you a pack? Just a pack. I'll, I'll see you later. Careful. 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 Yeah. You're gonna mess things up now. You're gonna fall in love. I said, careful you. Jessica, huh? you've been behaving very funny lately. Is anything the matter? How am I behaving? I'm just being myself. You're not just being yourself. See, I know something is wrong somewhere. And if it's my fault, just let me know. I'll definitely correct it. Philip, I wish you well in life. Like I told you earlier on, I want to pay more attention to my husband. You want to pay more attention to your husband? Yeah. What, what, what about me? Eh? Don't you have any feelings for me again? You have a woman in the house. Go take care of your wife. Um, see, Jessica is... is...
Ähm, um, Philip. We have a flight to catch. Uh, honey? Yes, baby. I hope you won't miss me so much. Mm -hmm. eh? Never mind, uh, I've only got a few days to spend, right? Uh, actually, sir, uh, Madame was just telling me that uh, she would have loved to join us to Abuja, but you did not invite her. Really? Yes. Ah, sweetheart. Yes. I thought you do not have uh, any interest in my political ambition. Um. I can always change my mind, can't I? Oh, why not? You can, and you will always be welcome. So, what do we do? Wait for her to pack her couple of things? Oh, never mind. I'll join you on your next trip. Oh. All right. It's still okay. Let's go then. One minute. I forgot my phone upstairs. I'll be back. And what was that all about? See, Jessica, you know this Abuja we're going to. Prince will be having series of meeting. You understand? And I just wanted us to have time for ourselves. Don't ever play such pranks with me again or you will regret it! Yeah, hello? <laughs> I like it, Baku. Yes, I love you. How are you? Baraka. <laughs> That's good. I'll get you. Oh. The, uh, uh, oh. I like please hold on. I'll get back to you. Yes, I'll call you. Yes. And what's going on here? Um, <laughs> he he played a joke I didn't like. Y yes, Chief. Philip, sir, you joke with my wife? Sir, sir not, not, not that kind of joke, sir. <laughs> So, I'm sorry, Philip. All right, Mother. It's all right. I thought we were good friends. We are very good friends. Good. Friends don't fight. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Let's go. just awarded us the contract of supplying them with furniture for their newly completed business complex. We are rich. What is it? Mm -hmm. Come off it, girl. I know you better than that moron who cheated on you and ended up marrying the wrong girl, so don't tell me that. Let's forget about my mood and talk about business. So what's that you're holding? A picture I want to get rid of. going to continue killing yourself about this comeback of a guy. This piece of shit called Tony. Girl, you know he's not worth the trouble. I know. You know what you need? You need excitement. Honestly, some new guy, a Prince Charming, to make you stop sharing all the stress you're sharing now. I think I found the right person, but I'm too proud to admit it. Wow, you have someone and you've not told me about it. Girl, I'm not leaving this office until you tell me about him. Back to business. <laughs> Here we go. Hello. Hi, Angel. Hey, yeah, what's up? So, how are you doing? I'm doing good, and you? I'm doing great. I'm doing great. I'm working out. Working out? 
So who is working on you? What? Come on, I'm in the gym for God's sake. Man. You know I like working out myself, except I rather do it in a bedroom with a beautiful lady like you. <laughs> oh God, baby, you just sick. You know that. Sick, yeah. That's why I chose to call it my first name. Sick David. <sighs> You've got a good sense of humor. You know that, huh? Thank you. And now that you mentioned it, I will just give it a serious thought. You're beginning to give what a fuck? Being a comedian. You know, putting a smile on your face whenever you're feeling down, keeping you happy, stuff like that. <laughs> oh my god, you just a whack. You just went out and lay my hands on you. I'm gonna I'll kiss you. What? Said when I lay my hands on you, I will kiss you. And I won't just end it there. I will run my tongue between your boobs. Down to your belly button. And eventually. Today's it. Where are you? I'm counting my losses. So what do you say if I want you to join me? Hey bro, never mind. Don't get carried away. She's a super snob. What does that mean? Who, who are you? My name is Jukes. I come here regularly. I saw the way you were staring at her. I do the same each time I come over here. And no one has arrested me for appreciating God's handiwork. That's a good one. That's a good one. Yeah. I get what you mean. That's a good one. Yeah. <laughs> so who is she? Oh, her name is Zainab. Yeah. And I learned the family is into shipping and oil business. You're kidding me. Thanks for the information, man. Ah, uh, you're welcome. I appreciate it. Yeah. You're the man. Whatever. You know, this married woman is excited about you. Okay. And is she going to prove it? Oh, you want me to prove it, huh? Mm hmm Okay. I'm going to take you to my house. Mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, my husband is not around. Mm -hmm. He traveled. And my house help will mind the business. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> come on. Let's go. Okay, but I've not come close to this. What you just said is the most fascinating romance novel I've ever read. 
So girl, who is the author? <laughs> Whoa! Hey, hey. Wait, seriously? I mean, honestly, you don't think I'm making this up, do you? No. But you know what I think? That you need to see a psychiatrist. Because it's so obvious that the trauma of what you've been through is affecting your hurt. No, Yinka. I'm fine. Honestly, I'm perfectly fine. I've never been better. Jeff is real. Believe me. You know, you're even more daring than I was willing to give you credit for. God! Picking up a guy from the street? That is beyond the limits. I think it's God's wish, Yinka. Come on, girl. I wasn't thinking when I made the decision. I wasn't even looking back. I just decided. <laughs> like that. Oh, honey. Sometimes we mistake the devil's intentions as God's wish. <laughs> well, this time it's my wish because I'm not going to change my mind. Come on. He's so charming. Okay. Let's just do it this way. If this Jeff is going to treat you right, make you happy, good. But if he dares make you sad, or even a man. Girl, you know what I'll do? I'll skin him alive. <laughs> Shall be no skinny anybody alive whatsoever. But cheers. Not because you want to skin him alive, but because you're on my side. All right, all right. So tell me, have you guys done it yet? Don't. Oh my <laughs> God! Look up. Don't what? You know, How did we become friends? Okay. Then why are you waiting for? Just make it happen. Get it done. Let's get the details. Oh my so God. This is what the trouble. We are so opposite. Stop. Alright. <laughs> but cheers all the same. So, welcome to my trip. Nice. It's a beautiful place. I like it. Thank you. Anyways. You brought me here because you wanted to prove a point, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I'm waiting, what's the point? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Somebody's here. Somebody's here. Somebody's here. Jen? What are you doing here? Drop that thing and get out. Come back here, Jen. Yes, ma'am. The next time you will come in here without knocking, you will lose your job. I'm sorry, ma'am. Now go back to your quarters. Yes, ma'am. Come back here. By the way, this is my cousin. Before you go out there, run in your mouth. Get out. Sorry about that. It's okay. It's all right. So where were we? Hmm? Let's go to the bedroom. Upstairs? Yeah. How many days are here? Even better. What? Go ahead. I'm going to go. Go ahead. <laughs> Behaving funny, sweetheart. What's wrong? You know, I do it. There comes a time in a woman's life when she must open up. Open up? About what? You see, I don't doubt the fact that you love me. But there's one thing. I want to know whether you still love me if you get to know the truth about me. You're speaking in parables. Are you saying I didn't even know you? But please, just promise me that you love me no matter what you get to know about me. Please. I promise. I'd even cross my heart. My name is now Zena. And... I don't come from a wealthy family. 
I come from a very poor background. Are you acting a script? Or are you telling me the truth? Edward, I have grown to love you. And I want to spend the rest of my life with you. I want you to know the truth about me. So, where have you been getting all the money you've been spending? Edward, I've been doing a lot of things, you know. I've been into a lot of things. All the money, everything I own, comes from men. Tell me this is not true. I want to spend the rest of my life with you. I don't want to go on with my false life. Please. See? Let's not beat around the bush. I was really looking forward to meeting your so-called rich parents. And now that I know the truth, let's just call it quits. Edward, 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 does it mean you don't love me anymore? Baby, only fools. Fall in love. Edward! Edward, please don't do this to me! Edward! This time around, it's a strictly business between me and this man. Gosh, man. <laughs> oh, God. You. Uh huh. You are a woman eater. Is that right? <laughs> Where do you get your energy from? From being with a beautiful woman like you. <laughs> Thank you. Come here, you. No. Oh, no, 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 no. No, I am done. Yeah? Oh. Agreed. You are the best, no doubt. But I am done. <laughs> okay. I understand. But um, I just want you to know that I had a wonderful experience. Mm -hmm. Let me say that. That's okay. I'll be right here. Anytime you need me. You know where to find me. <laughs> I have to leave town. What do you mean? You... You've never bothered to ask me what do I do? You know, for a living? What am I into? I'm so sorry. It's alright. It's okay. So tell me, love, what are you into? I mean, what do you do? Um, when I decided to walk away from my ex, everything of mine was taken away. You know, um, I, I, I was working for her father. When I packed my things that I was leaving, he took my car, froze my account. Basically everything I was able to acquire within the period. And it's been so difficult making ends meet sense. You know? So, how do you intend to pay your hotel bills? Um, friends. Friends help me out. You know, pay my bills every now and again. Thing is, I'm just tired of begging. You know? I'm tired of living from hand to mouth. So I've decided to just go down to Port Harcourt, you know, be at my mother's end till something comes up. I mean, I could get a job, something could happen. So, what happens to me, to us? I don't know. I haven't really thought about it like that. But I mean, I could, raise some money, you know, and whenever I can afford it, I'll come down, call you up, you know, and then we hook up. 
It, it won't take long. I'll, I'll raise the money in no time. Okay? David? Yeah? I can make you very comfortable. Mm hmm. But there's a problem. And then what is that? I am a very jealous lover. And I must not see you with another woman. Okay. It's not a problem. Yeah, big deal. Hey, it's no biggie. Done. You probably breakfast in bed. Don't be fooled by that. Who is fooling who? Oh, that was a joke. Hi, I'm Jeffrey. Everybody calls me Jeff. Okay. Cecily, you look tired. Oh, I'm, I'm fine. How was your day? Ah, oh, not bad. Wonderful. Just hanging around, doing nothing, looking at the town, That's you know. Cool. And who is this pretty face? Ah, oh, part of my manners. Um, Jinka, this is Jinka, my colleague, my, my partner, sorry, and this is Jeff, Jeffrey. Jeffrey? Jeff. <laughs> Hi. Lovely name, pretty face. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Both of you look very hungry. I just made dinner. I hope you will be joining us. Oh, of course oh. you will, <laughs> yes. No, no, you, you will like my food. Everybody likes my food. You know, so just... You know, I'll... Let me help you. It's okay. It's all right. Stay here with your friend, your partner. You had a rough day, okay? Let me take care of you. All right? I'll call you when I'm ready. Thank you. Go. Who's this guy? Who's charming? Oh, you don't get calm here yet. Honestly, Jeff. Must this is real, really good. Thank you. Sis, do you like it? Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. <laughs> Excellent. My mom. My mom is calling me. Excuse me. Excuse me. What do you know about his mom? Nothing. One in six now. Oh, please, my friend, come on. Listen, I don't trust that guy. Honestly, he looks like a con man to me. Shh. Stop. Don't, don't, don't get jealous. Oh, please. He could hear you. Hello. The line is faint. I, I can't hear you. Can you hear me? Yeah. I can hear you now, mom. I know. You're my baby. That's why I'm your mom, right? Sure. <laughs> That's so sweet. Honey, I'm missing you already. I just don't know why you left. I know, but we, we have more days ahead of us. I know, baby. I just wish you were here with me. Can I come to your hotel? What are you doing here? I just served dinner. No, 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 sorry darling, I wasn't talking to you. Why do you like sticking around like a thief? I'm sorry ma, I just want to inform you that your dinner is ready. I am not hungry. Now retire to your quarters at once. Yes, madam. <laughs> Hello? I was sorry about that, baby. So answer my question. Listen. We will have time for all of this, okay? Just be patient. Okay. 
All right, no hard feelings. I'll wait. I'll try as much as possible to hold myself. Okay, I'll talk to you later. Bye, Mom. I love you, Mom. Bye. Bye, darling. <laughs> oh, jeez, this guy is killing me, man. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry about that. That was my mom just going on and on about a son. You know, mothers. Yeah. Did I miss something? Oh, no. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Um, uh, you wouldn't mind if I disturb you, would you? Definitely not. What is it? Um, I was kind of lonely in my room and I was wondering if I could share your bed with you um well i N never mind um i mean never mind i just thought we could share a bed i didn't mean anything else sorry elfrida elfrida let elfrida elfrida Just snapped it right on my necessary. Alfreda, please. <laughs> Don't touch me, please. Good night. What did I do? Alfreda, I'm not okay with this. Now this is what the two of us have been planning together. You and I. Is she expecting you? Yeah. She knows I'm coming. But I'm not well. She didn't tell me that any person is coming to check on her. So what is that supposed to mean? That I can't go in? Jane? Ma? What are you doing there? Where is the gate man? He has not been feeling fair since morning. And you feel you can go to my gate? Will you get your miserable body back to your quarters? I'm sorry. I'm so sorry about that. So how you doing? What's wrong with that? Don't mind. Doesn't she know I'm the man? <laughs> so what did you do? Tell me. Well, I called you here for two reasons. Okay. One, I want you to be very happy with me because I truly like you. Okay. And secondly, my husband will soon be back and we can't continue meeting here until I think of how to introduce you to him. Okay, I, I understand you. I know what you mean. I understand. Okay. 
Then, um, have you thought of any business you would like to go into? Well, um, not like that. I haven't really thought about business like that. No, not really. Okay. But, uh, I mean, I could think I could give it a thought. Yeah. I want you to give it a thought. Huh? Okay. You know, when you think of something to do, it, it makes one be independent. You know? Right. Yeah. Fantastic. <laughs> so, I, I mean, I will think about something. I mean, okay. I know it would just snap to me like that. Yeah, and it, make it fast. I mean, if you want me to think about it, <laughs> yeah, I will. Make it fast, and when you do, you tell me, and I will finance it. Meanwhile, before you go, I'll be giving you 500,000 naira to settle your hotel bills because I don't want excuses each time I want to meet you. Okay. Right. <laughs> no excuses when you want to meet me. Good. That's nice. Thank you. One more thing. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay. You know, I wouldn't want my lover to be seen jumping from one taxi to another. So, I have a surprise for you. You you have you you, wait, you have a surprise? Yes. Let's see it. Where is it? You're looking for me here? I don't know. <laughs> Give me a sec. I'll be right back. Okay. delivered this morning. It's all yours. <laughs> Here. You kidding me? Who wants to have this? Who wants to have this? It's going, it's going. It, I got it, I got it. <laughs> oh, sweetie. I'm, I'm mesmerized. I don't know what to say. You then, know? say nothing. Okay? Okay, but do something. <laughs> you know, I just want you to be happy. I want to tell you how much I care about you. So you sure you're not kidding me? You're not kidding me with this car, right? You're not. Search me. Do I look as if I'm kidding? Let me just <laughs> no, let, let me let me just let me let it sink, right? Mm -hmm. Go on. <laughs> you have all the time. This is the, the uh let me see. Uh <laughs> okay. Damn. I like it. Mm. Mm -hmm. I know you like it. It's, it's as beautiful as you want. <sighs> Don't even start. Okay? So, are we gonna have a drive? Take a drive or something? May I have your name, sir? Romeo. Alright, let me just... That would be wonderful. Enjoy your stay, sir. Thank you. 
just a businessman Using what I have to get what I want I never thought that life could be so, be so beautiful I never knew that life could be Leave me alone, let me live my life the way I please I'm doing just fine Leave me alone, let me do my thing the way I do I'm doing just fine Leave me alone my imaginary hotel room has become a reality. I like that. <laughs> She's fine. What am I gonna do about that? She's fine. Ooh, I can't breathe. <laughs> okay. Um, let me see. Go check her out. All right. Okay, you good? <laughs> I figured you will need this. Thank you. You're welcome. You are very pretty, you know. I'm sure you've been told several times. You know what? I'd like to be alone if you don't mind. Well, if only you can explain to me why you appear in my dreams. For God's sake, is that supposed to be a joke? I wish it was, but it's not. You know what? I don't even know you. Yes, you do. We've met twice already. You do know me. Really? Yeah. I must have made an impression for you to see me in your dreams. These things happen. Call me Romeo. And I know you are Zainab. And did you get to know my name in your dream? It's like that. Anyways. I'm sure our paths will cross again. Meanwhile, enjoy. All right? Enjoy. Meanwhile, enjoy. Sorry to disturb you with your stock balancing. Are you in the mood to talk now? Yes, of course. Why not? How did the meeting go? Oh, great. The bank is willing to finance the project. You know, just that the percentage is quite high. Well, that wouldn't be a problem. I can actually source for finances, so you could just forget them. Hmm. You know, I like it when you're very determined to work. It means good results. Yenka, I have nothing other than my job. Don't you think I should be able to do it well? Yes, I presume. How's Jeff? He should be fine. Okay. I ran into Mr. Njoko on my way here. It seems his firm is recruiting new staff and I thought I'd mention it to you. That's really thoughtful of you. I, I'm going to talk to him to know if he's interested. Are you alright? You can come fine. What do you want to hear? Listen, Jeff is just somebody I want to help. 
There's nothing going on between us. Nothing whatsoever. Nothing. You know your happiness is most important to me. Thank you, my dear friend. I do appreciate it very much. Very well. I'll let you to continue with your work. Thank you. That's all I think of. Pompous idiot. Fine boy, my ass. Uh, madam, uh, are you talking to me? You know what? Just concentrate on your driving. Okay, madam. You kept me waiting. Chief, I'm sorry. I went for a swim. Where? Doesn't really matter. Let's go in first. I heard you swim in a hotel. Is it true? Perhaps. Zena, you mean you can ex afford to expose this your body to the public? All in the name of swimming? My body, you just said. It also belongs to me. After all, I spent so much money towards its maintenance. Chief, I can see you're in a very foul mood. I'll ask you to leave this very moment. Well, Zainab, you can afford to sound the way you're sounding. After all, you've kept me here waiting for long. But I don't want you to go there anymore from now on. Okay? Okay, then why don't you buy me a new house with a swimming pool so that I wouldn't have to go anywhere to swim? Maybe you think I, I mean money. Chief, you like what you see, don't you? It takes money to look good and to live well. Let me relax with you while before I leave. Chief, I'm sorry, I'm not in the mood. What was it you said yesterday? Chief, if you know you want to relax, why don't you go to your wife? Zena, I gave you a whopping sum of two million naira a few days ago. 
and look at the way you're talking to me. Is that right? Chief, I have had men deposit over 10 million naira in my account even without seeing me. You're going to regret this, I assure you. Excuse me. Chief, I'm used to threats. I'm not scared of you. <laughs> Stupid man. Because of 10 million naira, you think you just come and stand here and make rubbish? to continue working in this house. Don't ever open the gate for the chief again. Do you hear me? God bless you, ma. But uh, excuse me, madam. I think so na him be your girl for now. Pastors, if you ever open the gate for him again, you're fired. Do you hear me? God bless you, ma. Um, but madam, excuse me. Uh, uh, I don't know. I feel open gate for other guys because I've already entered here. There plenty, ma. Madam, even at times. You know what? You're so stupid. Shut up. Talk too much. God bless you, ma. I talk too much. Hey. Stupid fool! Rubbish! Come, 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 come. You see us, take the alarm this afternoon. What thing happened? We're gonna jump person for real. First us. Hmm? I'm worried. You know what? That big old guy, they give me money almost every day. What? I beg you, don't hear me. This is rather strange. Even though she does not tell me where she goes to oftentimes, but um, she knew that I'm coming back today. Maybe it's network, sir. No, it's ringing. She's picking it. That's why I'm worried. Um. By the way, call Jane for me. Okay, sir. Hope all is well. Jane, do you have an idea where your madam went to? No, sir. She left in the morning with her cousin. With her cousin? Yes, sir. Madam said the man with her is her cousin. I see. Very well, then. You will leave. Okay, sir. Philip. Sir. I can vividly recall many times this issue of Cousins, nephews, mention them. The number of times the issue has caused a lot of trouble with my wife in this house. The thing almost ruined my marriage. Don't you care? I understand, sir. I am telling you all this because I like you and you are very hard working. Thank you, sir. You must learn to cope with women. So that um, 
when they start their trouble, your marriage will not crash. Okay? Thanks for your advice, sir. Good. You may leave now. Thank you very much, sir. Your beautiful bride must be expecting you. So go straight home, okay? Good, good. My regards to her. Jessica. I hope she does not want to start again today, cousin, tomorrow, nephew, the other day, niece. Let her go and come back. You said Madame introduced the man she went out with as her cousin? Yes, sir. What does he look like? I don't know. He looks like a man to me. What kind of stupid answer is that? I'm sorry, sir. Just that I cannot describe him. Um, have you ever seen him in this house before? Oh, guys, Philip, is there any problem? Uh, not, not really. Is it, I, I was just trying to find out if truly the man is her cousin. But when you first came, Madame said you were her brother. So you're supposed to know who your cousins are. Okay. I think I'll find out from her. Okay. It seems I've been more happy. Just a businessman, you see what I have. 